I'm Anil Kumar and in this video I'll discuss at length permutations with repetition or you can also say identical distinct elements right so as you know whenever we have let us say n ob objects distinct objects and if let us say a of them are repeated or identical will divide that by a if b are repeated divide by b and so on so that is the general formula which will be applied in this video to find most of the solutions so let's begin with our first question here we'll have three questions in this video the first question here is how many seven digit numbers can be formed using all the digits one one two two three six and seven case one no conditions at all so we can just count how many of these one two three four five six seven so there are seven elements so seven factorial comes in the numerator divided by how many are repeated so we have two ones right and two twos so that gives you two factorial four ones and two factorial four twos you can always use your calculator to find this answer right so we have <coughs> 7 factorial uh, divided by we can say divide by 4 you know and get the answer as 1260 okay so all these are without any restrictions now we'll impose some restrictions and see how to work with identical elements or where numbers or letters are repeated now case 2 is 6 comes after 7 so we, now we are looking at these two numbers 6 and 7 and we want 6 comes after 7 so how many of these will have 6 after 7 so you know half of them will have 6 before 7 correct so it is and half of them will have 6 after 7 correct so total is 12 60 we'll say half of them right right because in half 7 will come before 6 correct so the answer is simple it will be half of 1260 is it okay right so you could do 1260 divided by 2 right how so how so simple it may be is good to use calculator okay right now case 3 is even numbers now when I say even numbers what do we mean well, we could have different cases because in this one could end seven digit number with two or by six. So there are two different cases here. We have seven digits. So let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, case one could be where even number means ending with two. So if it is ending with two, what we have done here is let's consider these numbers. Our numbers are 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 6, and 7. So if we have already taken away 1, 2, ending with 2, then all these numbers will be giving us how many combinations, right? So that is our case 1. So all this is we are left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right? So this gives you 6 factorial divided by how many repeated? Only ones are repeated since we have already fixed 1, 2 there. So divided by 2 factorial. Is it okay? So 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial. Okay, so it's divided by 2. That gives us 360. Okay. So, so we get first case and the second case could be that we could have 6 at the end, right? Even numbers means ending with multiples of 2. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and we want to end with 6. Now, in this series, we could have uh, two ones, right? Or we could have twos, or we could have twos, right? So because of that, we'll have to divide by 2 factorial each time, correct? So this will be 6 factorial divided by 2 factorial times 2 factorial. That is half of this, correct? So half of this, let's do it. We already have the number here, divided by 2 equals to 180. 
and so the total will be 180 plus 360 right? 540 is the answer right so here we get uh, 360 plus 180 which is 540 correct so we get the answer for case 3 now case 4 is first and last digits are same now this is very important to understand we are saying first and last digit are same okay so let's put seven numbers one two three four five six seven here also we have two possibilities since we have a repetition of one and one so we could have one and one right or we could have a situation with five six seven where the first number is two and it ends with two do you see that and all the combinations here can be combined to provide the answer is that okay so how many are these so if we take away two numbers from a set of seven we are left with five numbers right so let's consider the first case if I take away once I'm left with these numbers which are two two three six and seven these are one two three four five numbers so five factorial divided by two is repeated two factorial correct if I do the case two or which is exactly same only thing is since we fix twos we are left with one one three six seven and here also the combinations will be five factorial divided by two factorial right so we could say it is two times 5 factorial divided by 2 factorial which is 5 factorial is it okay so 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 which is equal to uh, you could do 5 times 4 is 20 times 3 is 60 double 120 is it okay so likewise you can answer these questions I'd like you to go through this we have covered different ways in which we could do counting where repetition is allowed or we have identical elements right now uh, we'll continue with an example where instead of numbers we'll take letters correct so now we'll concentrate on letters and see how to answer those kinds of questions i hope that helps so now let us take example where we are talking about letters in a word so the question now here is how many arrangements of the word Saskatoon can be made using all letters, right? Case one, no conditions. So let's count how many letters are there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we have nine letters. So nine factorial divided by how many are repeated, right? So let's see. So we have two S, okay, and we have two A's and we have two O's correct so that means six and we have separate let me just check K T and N that makes it nine so it's perfect so since these three are repeated and each are two we'll just divide by two factorial two factorial and two factorial to get this answer is it okay so this answer is nine factorial uh, divided by eight let's say right so that gives you the answer as uh, 445360. Okay. Now let's look into different conditions. We have starts with S and ends with S. That means same letter, right? Okay. So we have 9 here. So let me write down 9 here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it is starting with S and ending with s so in between we are left with how many spaces seven spaces so that is seven factorial divided by how many duplicates do we have since we have already taken away s's we are left with a's and o's right so we'll be having with two factorial and two factorial correct so the number of arrangements using all these letters we start with s and ends with says s is so many correct so it is 7 factorial divided by 2 factorial divided by 2 factorial right so it is 7 factorial i mean sorry uh, 7 factorial divided by 4 
which is 1260. So we get this as 1260, correct? Now the last part of this case 3 is starts and end with different letters, right? So let's do the last case now. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So when we say starts and end with different letters, that means it should not start with S and end with S as we did here. It should not start with A, end with A, or it should not start with O and end with O. All others are valid, correct? So, so we could now say that that means total takeaway start and end with same. Is it okay? With same. So that should give us the answer for case 3. Perfect. Now total is known to us which is 45360 and how many are there which starts and end with the same letters? So we have three sets, correct? So it could start with S, end with S. It could start with A, end with A. It could start with O, end with O, correct? And all these are kind of same 1260 times 3. Does it make sense to you, right? I think it does. So it'll be this much minus 1260 times 3, right? So that gives you the answer. So, so let's figure it out. So we have 4, 5, 3, 6, 0, take away 3 times 1260. 4, 1, 5, 80, correct? So we get our answer as 4, 1, 5, 80. So I hope this makes sense and now you understand how do we find arrangements where starting and end is same, perfect, or it is different, correct? So I hope that helps you for those kinds of questions also. And now here is the last question and this is for you to practice basically, right? <clears throat> so let me write down question here. You can now pause the video, answer this question and then check with my solutions. It says, how many different words can you make using all the letters of the word Mississippi? Extremely popular question, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. No restriction means you have 11 factorial divided by how many are repeated? So we have uh, I's, let's count 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 I's and S, 1, 2, 3, 4. We have 4 S. And we have two P's, right? We have two P's, right? So it is divided by four factorial, four factorial, two factorial, without restriction. The next one is the word must end with an I. That means all this and then ending with I, correct? So if the word is ending with I, we are left with what all? We are left with, uh, let me write down here, M I. S S I S S I P P. So this I we have already taken away, right? This I we have taken away. Rest are left with us. So how many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So that is 10 factorial divided by now 4 S's. I's are 3 now, right? So it is 3 factorial times 4 factorial times 2. 2 factorial. I hope this gives you clear concept of finding arrangements where we are repeating or we are having identical elements. Is that okay? And the last one here is the word starts with M. So okay, so we have to start with M and end with anything. In that case, starting is M. So that means we, when we take this word Mississippi, PPI, we have already taken care of this word, letter I should say, M, we're left with 10 of course, like like this time, so we our answer is 10 divided by, let's talk about things which are being identical, so all this, right, so 4 factorial times 4 factorial times 2 factorial. So these are the answers for your question, I hope that really helps you to understand the topic as a whole. So feel free to post your comments, suggestions, and if you have any questions, post them. I will be glad to answer. Thanks and all the best.